Hey y'all. <laughs> Today I am doing my floor tree Friday from the bathroom because my child thinks that she rules everything. So she's in there eating her popsicle and watching Boss Baby. And guess what? She does rule everything. <laughs> that is something I'm working on. But whatever. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this week I want to talk about a letter to my first love. Definitely. I'm going to talk about a letter to my first love. Um, so let's just get right into it, all right? All right. <laughs> all right. Dear first love, you probably never think of me, but I just want to tell you what your presence really means to me. You was my first kiss because then that was not a thing to me. I was just moving through life with my innocence so gracefully. You was my first disc because then I was thinking of popularity. But we grew up. In their love, distance was our best friend. I liked him and you loved her and that was where our life began. Perfect virgins, tainted by others. When all I did was think of us. Seeing you at parties, walking by lunch. Your smile. Man, your smile. Lit up my world, but yet I told others you was just an old crush. Nothing less, nothing much. But somehow the universe brought back us. <laughs> Remember I taught you how to roll your first blunt and how I used to practice with my friends for those juke jams because I knew that you would come? <laughs> Later on, life separated us again. Remember you told me that the world wasn't letting you win and I told you you were just being protected against sin. Same year you left, I lost my second boyfriend to a street violence that he said he wanted to end. You was that, huh? I remember I screamed jail talk, but you always kept me close. When I was pregnant and lonely, you were the one to know me most. Talked me through my tears for nine months and two years. Hell, you talked me through my fears of my mom no longer being here. Man. It's always your genuine energy and words of sapphire that bring my heart to a type of fire and desire. I mean, I admire you, friend. How you come out of that childish place and become this new man. And speaking of man, I know we're better off as friends, but it doesn't stop my imagination from wondering. Thank you. But yeah, so that was number two. I know I just came out of like, well, yeah. <laughs> but yes, that is week two. Welcome to week two. If you have not watched the first video, make sure y'all go ahead and watch it. Make sure y'all, you know, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, you know, um, share, most importantly. Share the, share the word, share the love, you know, to somebody. If you feel this way about your first love or hear your love now, Share this to somebody, somebody that you can relate with to. It's winter time and we're all just, it's all about love. Um, definitely. But, um, yeah, but make sure y'all like and subscribe. Smoke and Sisters, S-M-O-K-I-N-S-U-S-T-A-Z. Um, my daughter is calling me and my alarm is ringing, so it's time to get back to work. I love y'all. Y'all have a great and positive Friday. I thank y'all for viewing. Have a good one. Y'all here knocking. What, girl?